the narcissist doesn't want you to change. The narcissist will act as though certain things you are doing or have done are not right. They will act as though they are not happy with certain decisions you might have made. They will become passive aggressive and even overtly abusive towards you. You might think that all you need to do is stop what you are doing and comply with the narcissist's demands and then everything will return to normal. But no matter how much you change yourself to meet their demands, it never does. No amount of change within yourself will ever satisfy the narcissist. Because the problem is not within you, it's within them. They will act as though they are bothered or concerned about something you have done or something you are doing. But they never take the proper measures to attend to the situation. They never have a plan or course of action to achieve a particular purpose. Because there is no real purpose. They act as though they are bothered or concerned about something you have done or something you are doing. But it really has nothing to do with that. They are actually very comfortable with your faults or mistakes. It gives them the opportunity to control you and in their minds it justifies them abusing you. They are not really bothered or concerned. It's all an act. And you can tell it's an act because they're more focused on you than actually attending to the situation or trying to resolve it. They don't want to resolve anything because that would mean that they no longer have a reason to control you. They no longer have any justifications for abusing you. Of course there is no justification for abuse, but this is in the narcissist's mind. In the narcissist's mind, they are the victim and they are justified in abusing you as you have hurt them. When the narcissist acts bothered or concerned about something you have done or something you are doing, you might think that they want you to stop and do something else, but this can often cause more problems. The narcissist doesn't want you to change, at least not your idea of change. Your idea of change is likely to be something that is beneficial or favourable to you. The narcissist is not going to support you in anything that involves progress or positivity. They don't want you to change or improve your life. They don't want you to become a better person. We have all made faults or mistakes in the past and that is a very important part of our lives. We must make faults and mistakes so we can then learn from them and grow and develop. If we do not make faults or mistakes, we cannot grow, we just stay the same. This is the problem that the narcissist has, as they never take responsibility for their actions. They don't want to be held accountable for anything that they have done. They live their lives in denial constantly trying to escape from reality which makes it impossible for them to learn from their faults and mistakes which means that they can never grow or develop 
they stay stuck at the same level of development for the rest of their lives and nothing ever changes. The narcissist is still stuck in the past and they were very comfortable with the person you used to be. They are very comfortable with the faults and mistakes that you have made. Whenever they feel threatened or as though you are superior to them in some way, they will reflect on your past faults and mistakes and randomly bring them up to you. It's their way of saying that you're not that great. Or you might be good at this, but what about this or that? The narcissist has impossible expectations for themselves, which they could never live up to, and they project these expectations onto the people around them. They were very comfortable with the person you used to be. They had reasons to control you, justifications for abusing you. Whether you had done something wrong to them in the past, or you made a fault or mistake, you had an issue with alcohol, tobacco or drugs, whatever it was, you did something that you weren't proud of. And that's okay. We all make faults and mistakes. But the difference between us and the narcissist is that we do not continually repeat the same faults and mistakes. We do not deny that we have made them. We, re we reflect on the things that we have done wrong. We take responsibility and we respond to the situation to the best of our ability. We accept that we have done something wrong and then we work to change the situation. We learn from our faults and mistakes and then we grow and develop. The narcissist doesn't do this. They continually repeat the same faults and mistakes again and again, never taking responsibility for their actions, never even acknowledging that they have done anything wrong. This is why nothing ever changes with them. They always stay the same. And while they can repeat the same false mistakes again and again, never taking responsibility, if you were to do one thing wrong, they would hold it against you for the rest of your life. They would use it as an excuse to control you, use it as a justification to abuse you. They would hold a grudge and be very resentful towards you, never forgiving you. They set different values and expectations for you than what they set for themselves. Any rules that are set in the relationship are for you, not for them. They can do whatever they want. But they will hold a grudge and be very resentful towards you if you do make a fault or mistake. They will act as though they are bothered or concerned, but most often, they don't really care about anything you have done. They only care as much as it might affect the false beliefs that they have of themselves. If it makes them feel less significant, important or valuable, if it affects them emotionally or bruises their ego, they don't care about the act of you doing something wrong. It's only how it pertains to them. They will act as though they are bothered or concerned, but it's just an excuse to control you. It's just something they use to justify the abuse. When you start trying to change, the narcissist feels very uncomfortable. You might be trying to correct certain faults or mistakes that you have made in the past. You might be practicing religion or spirituality, changing your diet, giving up alcohol, tobacco or drugs. 
the narcissist is very uncomfortable with any positive changes you make because it makes them feel as though you are leaving them behind their connection or relation to you is from you being who you were in the past the person you used to be the person who wasn't religious or spiritual the person who didn't eat healthy maybe the person who consumed alcohol tobacco or drugs that is the person they feel a connection or relation to if you suddenly start to change they begin to feel lost because they can't change or grow with you change requires responsibility and accountability two things the narcissist wants nothing to do with so if you start responding to the best of your ability and being accountable for your actions it makes the narcissist feel inferior it makes them feel like less of a person because that is something that they will never do and they already know that if you start making these positive changes in your life you are going to be leaving them behind you are going to be untethering the connection between you and them they already know that they can't go with you because their connection to you is based on you being the person that you used to be if you are no longer that person they have no connection to you and they can't go with you because they're not willing to take responsibility or be held accountable for their faults and mistakes this is where they can become very envious and jealous they want to take away these new qualities and abilities that you have developed these new positive characteristics and traits they will try to remind you of the person you used to be they will bring up things from the past they will try to convince you that your religion or spirituality is wrong and you shouldn't believe in it or they will try to get you involved in alcohol tobacco or drugs again because they're envious and jealous they secretly admire the person that you've become but at the same time they hate it because it's not them and it makes them feel inferior to you because it's something that they can't do or are not willing to do they don't want to put the work in to make a change in their lives they're too lazy they'd rather just tear you down to their level so it looks like they're okay and they don't have to feel inferior anymore the narcissist doesn't want you to change and they will try to prevent any positive changes that you might make they want you to stay the same they want you to continue making the same faults and mistakes they want you to continue being the person that you used to be the person that they know the person that they want you to be it makes them feel more comfortable they act as though they are bothered bothered or concerned by your faults and mistakes but they are actually very comfortable with them it gives them a reason to control you it gives them justifications for abusing you if you try to make positive changes in your life they will try to revert you back to the person that you used to be because they already know that there is no place for them in your new life if you start making changes they already know that they can't come with you because they are not willing to do the work they are not willing to take responsibility or to be held accountable for their actions their faults and mistakes so they cannot climb higher with you they already know that you're going to be leaving them behind the only connection or relation they have is to the person that you used to be if you start making these changes they're not going to be relevant anymore they're not going to have any connection to you 
their actions are going, going to become very difficult to justify and they are no longer going to be appropriate so they have to keep you down with them they have to keep you thinking the same way doing the same things any positive changes that you make are a serious threat to their, their control over you and a serious threat to their justifications for abusing you this is why they do not want you to change they are very comfortable with the way things are and they already know that if you continue making these changes there is going to be no place for them in your life they would rather you continue being the person you once were continue making the same faults and mistakes because they don't really care about anything that you've done wrong it's all about them it's all about them controlling you using you to regulate their emotions feed their ego and boost their self-esteem it gives them an opportunity to express their own self-hatred frustration anger and resentment their own envy and jealousy they just need reasons for them doing what they are doing they need to justify it if they can push and provoke you into doing the wrong things and prevent any positive change or growth within you then they have more and more reasons to punish you while the punishment that they inflict on you may seem as though they are wanting you to change that is actually the last thing that they want you to do because then that would give them no reason to control you no justification to continue abusing you the narcissist doesn't want you to change or improve your life they want you to stay the same thank you for watching I hope this video resonated with you please like comment share and subscribe click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos if you would like to donate my paypal link is in the video description coaching inquiries you can email me at narcsrovercoaching at gmail.com check out the new merchandise in the narcsrover store where you can purchase your own narcsrover t-shirt tank top or mug the link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.